Hi everyone, I'm Sarah and uh, you and I are going to do something extremely satisfying today. We're going to go full Virgo on you. We're cleaning out the closet. So we're not just going to clean it out, but we're also, I'm going to do some, a bit of a makeover on it. But I'm gonna use just like the supplies that we already have. Mostly it's just getting a bit of a facelift. I'll show you what it looks like now, and then I'll show you the plans that, uh, or not show you, I'll tell you the plans of what I have in mind for the space, just to make it a little bit more functional, because there's a couple things about the space that make it really annoying to use. So this is what it looks like now. It's like some, it's pretty organized. It's just like the actual space itself isn't functional. So like these shelves are way too deep. Like the bins that we use, this is how far back the whole shelf goes. There's like a solid 10 inches to, of space on each shelf that isn't being used. That just makes it difficult to get into each of the bins. So I think they all lift out. So I'm just gonna take them all out I'm gonna trim them all so that they have about an inch more depth than the bin, or whatever the, whatever the widest bin is. I'll do an inch further than that bin. And then I'm going to sand them and restain them because a bunch of them have been like super scuffed just over the years. I mean, these are like 70 year old shelves or something like that. So I'm gonna sand them, restain them, and trim them. And then I'm going to add so I think on one of the sides, I'm going to do a command hook to hang our broom in here because right now our broom just gets put into whatever, one of the taller closets that doesn't have shelves. Um, so I'm going to do that and potentially figure out a mounting system for our vacuum to go in here too. So hopefully we can get one of those things to work out. And then the floor also on the bottom, when we tore up the carpet, the floor underneath here was super damaged. Um, so to keep it looking a little bit nicer <laughs> without having to restand the whole floors, because we're going to do that eventually, but just not not yet. So I have um, some, it's like a shelf liner, but I'm going to use it at the bottom of this um, closet to clean up the floor a bit. And kind of protect the rest of the floor so it doesn't get all banged up from things sliding in and out of the closet. So. So at the beginning of the quarantine, I did my own closet, like my clothing closet, which I'll show you the before and after, and that kind of motivated me to get this one done because this is what it looked like before, and this is what it looked like after, so what it looks like now. It is so satisfying to have that space be clean. It feels like the home equivalent of stretching to me. Like I feel like I'm just expanding the amount of space I have, and it's very, very satisfying. So today we're gonna do it again. So I wasn't going to paint in the closet, but I, once I took everything, oh, we can't see me. So I wasn't going to paint in the closet, but once I took the shelves out, I realized how like yellowed the color was in there, which is fine, but I have extra white paint that's like left over from other projects around the house. So, roller in hand, I'm gonna pour this out and get this closet painted. Voila! Okay, I've got two coats of paint down. Closet is now bright and white. The shelves are still out, so I'm gonna pop outside and we're gonna run them through the saw so I can shorten them a little bit. And then I'm gonna sand them all down, stain them, and then I'll pop back in and show you where we've gone. Maybe just a better kind of better. Sometimes everything 
days later and like six coats of stain and sanding. <laughs> now it's time to put the shelves back in and thank God put all these freaking tubs back away because they are right now like all over the hallway and it's getting, you know, a little dangerous to walk to the bathroom in the middle of the night. And as you can tell, I'm in the middle of another project because I'm in my paint covered clothes. But uh, let's get to the satisfying part and put everything back away. so satisfying. Let me show you how much better this looks now that it's stained. Oh. Looks so much better. Okay, now I can put stuff back. Okay, you guys, I don't know if you're ready for the satisfaction of this. I hope that it translates on camera because it is seriously satisfying <laughs> in person. To recap, I took out all the shelves, painted the inside of the closet, I trimmed the shelves so that there would be room on either side of the wall in the shelf. So after I trimmed them, I sanded and stained them, and then when I put them all back, I then measured and hung a mount for our vacuum. I mounted a broom holder. I already had all these baskets and I'm not gonna go buy a bunch of new ones just so that they all match or anything. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this helps and maybe inspires you to tidy up or um, make over a, a small space in your home. This really didn't take that long. I did it over a couple days, but just because the staining uh, needed to wait um, between coats. And other than that, I could have, if I had started early, I could have done this all in one day um, as long as the paint had enough time before I put everything back in there. Um, yeah, and the only thing I bought was the shelf liner at the bottom. That's the other thing I didn't say is I got the shelf liner for the bottom um, to protect the floor um, in the meantime before we restain the, the hardwoods. All right, thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you soon.